Welcome to IDB, everyone. It is Andrew here. Jailbroken devices have been stuck behind Apple's latest OS because there is simply no jailbreak available to them. So if you wanted iOS 11's really awesome new upgraded control center, you are left with finding some tweaks that could replicate it on your iOS 10 device. And there have been a few out there, but none quite as good as Maze. Maze is a new tweak released from Createx that pretty much spot on mimics the iOS 11 control center on your iOS 10 device. You can even jump into the settings, go to Maze, and add or remove different options from your control center. Completely customizable, just like on iOS 11. You even have additional features that you don't have on an iOS 11 device, like the ability to respring, so you can easily add a respring option right to your control center. You also have other options that you used to not have, such as being able to add low power mode or screen recording, things that often required other tweaks to accomplish. Once you've added all of the different options that you would like to your control center, you can go to the top and even rearrange their order. Simply long hold on if you don't have a 3D touch type device, like I'm on you know, an iPhone 6 Plus here, so I can use this long hold and drag and rearrange all these icons and those get mimicked inside a control center. Everything about this just looks and works great. I mean, it pretty much mimics it down to the T of exactly what you would see on an iOS 11 device. It even nicely blurs the background slowly as you raise up and remove your control center. It just looks overall nice, no matter whether you're in your lock screen, your home screen, inside of an app, it just works nice. There's also something known as continuous interaction, which means I can long hold on this or 3D touch, and without removing my finger, I can adjust the volume or the brightness. I don't have to move my finger at all. I can literally just hold on there, press, drag up to increase that volume, increase that brightness, without having to do multiple steps of removing and placing my finger again. Just a small, nice aspect of this tweak. Just like in the real control center, several different parts can go full screen, such as that stopwatch there, or the music aspect, or the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and other connection controls. All those can be long pressed or 3D touched to open up full screen and interact with them that way. This is the most well-polished and full-featured control center implementation from iOS 11 on iOS 10 devices. Now, as I was testing this out, I did notice a couple small little on-screen glitches, but they are really minor and easily remedied. For instance, if I put things in a weird order, like small ones next to bigger ones, they kind of stretched out into a little bit odd shapes. But it wasn't anything minor, it didn't impact performance of Control Center at all, and something that can easily be fixed with an upcoming update. If you would like to try this out for yourself, it is available inside of Cydia for $3. Now, because of the developers behind it, one of them is Laughing Quill. So if you happen to have Control Center XI, Control Center 11, you can actually upgrade from that to Maze for only $1.50. So you get half off of that full price by upgrading from your existing tweet to this new one. And honestly, it's extremely easy to recommend this to anyone who's looking to bring more of that iOS 11 experience to their jailbroken iOS 10 device. So what do you guys think of Maeve? Is this your favorite control center implementation that we've seen yet? Or do you have another favorite out there that you want to let me know and everyone else know down below in the comments? Otherwise, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so we can keep making more great ones like it. Go ahead and click on that big red subscribe button. And until next time, this is Andrew or IDB.